Hi, this is Adam from Procad. So I just wanted to go through the Vault Autoloader. Um, so the Vault Autoloader is now part of the Vault Client. Once upon a time it used to be a Vault Server application, but now uh, it's been rolled out to client users. So if I click Start here and I type in Autoloader, uh, I'll just grab the 2020 Autoloader here. So this is a useful tool for uploading large quantities of data to your Vault. So if I just click Next here, uh, the first thing it'll ask me to do is select a folder. So this is a pretty large sample set that I'm loading in here. The first thing it'll ask you to do is choose an inventor project file. Uh, the exclamation here will indicate project files which are found within the folder that you're actually choosing from. So in this case I'm going to use this one here. Uh, then I just want to click next. So at this point, you're gonna it's you're gonna be asked to scan all your files. So the thing with the auto loader is it's not gonna let you upload files with broken links. So for instance, if you have an AutoCAD drawing with an XRF to another AutoCAD drawing that's missing, or an XRF to an image that's missing, you're gonna have trouble getting those files into Vault using this auto loader method. Um, additionally, the same works with parts. If you have an assembly, an inventor assembly uh, that's made up of ten parts, and one of those parts is missing. You either need to modify the assembly to remove that missing part or you need to find that part and put it in the expected folder location. So I'll just run a scan here, there's nearly 2000 drawings on this and I'll get back to you when it's complete. Okay so I'm back here, uh, my auto loader scan is complete, I'm just going to click OK to this dialog. Uh, so what you can see here is I have uh, 89 errors and I have 33 warnings, the errors are the ones that are going to have issue whereby I can't, I can't really get those files into the vault. Um, so normally I think these will be sorted by file name or folder name, but you can sort them by the status here as well, which is quite useful. So um, Issues in children here will be my most common error. Um, actually it's more or less my only error in here, but you'll also get duplicates found. And you can also get issues where a file might be too old a version so in that case if that's the case you just have to open the file and save it up to the more current version of inventor or autocad or whatever the application is so the common one here issues in children if we take an assembly here we can actually look down here in the bottom window we can expand and see where the issue is coming from so here it's pretty obvious we have uh, an assembly that is made up of three parts three part files and one of these part files has reference to two uh, bitmap images. So these two images are linked to this file, but they're not existing in the folder structure which I have. So they've either been moved or they've been deleted or they've, they're basically gone. Uh, so when I open this file, what you would get is an error saying that um, there are broken links or other parts of this file are missing, in this case, these two images. So what you would have to do really before you upload all this data to Vault is maybe run an export um, and actually just export your issues. You can use export to Microsoft Excel, which is quite handy. And you can use that then, go around to each of these files and just tidy them up, remove the broken links um, or delete them or choose not to bring them into Vault. So in the interest of progressing this dialogue, I'm just going to manually remove the couple of errors which I have. So. And just click remove. So now I'm down to just the files that didn't actually have any errors. Uh, at this point I'm just going to click next and this is just going to upload these 1600 odd files. So if I click next here, it's going to ask me to log into a vault in particular. Uh, in this case I'll just log into my test vault here. Um, so the next thing it's going to do is ask you what folders you want to put this data into. Um, ideally your data folder structure is already kind of pre-done so what you're really doing is you're maybe putting that folder structure in its entirety into the designs folder or into a separate folder within the top level of your vault. So let's just go with designs in this case. So what I'm going to get is designs and sam sample files. These are the files I'm bringing in here in the first place and the standard parts, they're just going to go into the content center. So then I'll just click next. We'll get to the end of this and we'll just click next. At this point we're asked if we want to create the visualization for every single file or we just want to upload them and create the visualizations afterwards. So the visualizations are just previews of the images that you get in the bottom half when you're previewing the files within the vault. 
um, really this will be a slow and cumbersome process if we do actually check this box. So if you're doing a large quantity of files, you might upload them all in bulk. And then afterwards, you might run a task of creating the visualization attachment. Um, and you might let those jobs run on a job processor on a separate machine uh, later on. So next, I would just click Upload. So when this is finished, you can just click Done. And and the auto loader dialog box will just close and back here in the vault if we just do a quick refresh we go into the designs folder uh, and into this sample files folder this is the folder structure that I've just uploaded um, so you can see your assemblies are showing the parts um, the, link, the links are still retained and the folder structure is still retained within the vault 